Welcome back guys, we're back in another WordPress tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to increase your SEO score. And to check out our score as we go and use some of their helpful tips, we're going to be using the all-in-one SEO plugin here for WordPress. If you haven't already, check out the Seekerhost tutorials. We've got a very helpful video there that um, will get you all set up and using it. And what that will do, that will help for search engine optimization to read your blog, potentially send much more traffic to it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to try and increase this. What I've got here is I've got a very basic blog. It's all just been written out. Um, there's no headers, no nothing. Um, and we are going to try and increase the score as much as we can up until 100 out of 100. So then we know that it's very well optimized. Now we're going to be using a few keywords here. Uh, the keywords or phrases are going to be the event commands, going to be the main one. And then um, stuff like Minecraft Bedrock Edition and stuff like that. So we're just going to keep in mind what keywords you're going to be using. To get started, I'm going to copy my main keyword or key phrase here which is the event command. And using the all-in-one SEO, I'm just gonna scroll down and go to the focus key phrase. And here you can just go paste it and add focus key phrase. You're gonna see it's gonna come up with some um, helpful things that you got to go with and see if you have them. So, you know, if the focus key phrase is in the meta description, in the URL and stuff like that, but we're gonna go over the, all that in a second. And then you also got your page analysis on the bottom. So to get started, we're gonna be looking at the title and the line directly underneath it. Does it include the key phrases? So we got event command there and we got the event command there. Our first line here isn't too long, it's not too short, and it's going to be good to use for our meta description as well, which we'll do now. The first line as well is also good for describing um, what this particular article is about in a short and brief way, so people can quickly see what this article is about. If they're interested, they're going to click on it and then read further. So let's go ahead and copy this, and then we're going to go down and then paste it into the meta description. Let's just uh, backspace that. If it's not backspacing, just delete it, um, and then we're going to paste it there. Now, as you can see, it's going to come up quite nicely on the snippet preview of what it's going to look like if people are searching. Next one, let's sort out our post title here. So at the moment, um, that's also looking a bit messed up. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a post title separator and then the site title. So now um, we've got our title here, how to use the event command, um, followed by JDogs the shack, which is the site title. And then we've got a nice explanation and that's our snippet preview sorted and it's looking pretty nice. So we've got the focus key phrase um, in the SEO title. We've got it in the meta description because we've just copied it into the meta description there and it has the event command. Focus key phrase is in the URL. If it isn't, you can just come over and click post right here and you can see the URL slug. And all you've got to do here in the URL is just um, copy and paste what you want on there. So I've just copied and pasted the title. Um, let's do that here. When you click off of it, it'll put it in the right format for you. So we've got how to use the event command. Now this obviously will appear after your site on the top bar here. So after the jdogofficial.com, it'll be forward slash and then the URL slug here. Focus key length um, is fine. So we've got a tick for that. So now let's move down to the page analysis. So first of all, we haven't got any internal in it or external links, which we're going to have to add. And another thing is that we don't have any headings. This is just looks like one long read, whereas it would look much better split up into sections and it will be much easily readable. Not only that, we want to also embed a video here under the video tutorial, because um, if you are making videos, it's always helpful to get them posted on other pages. Um, and then people can also watch your tutorial if it is one um, on the actual post itself. So let's start tidying this actual post up a bit here and let's start making some headings. We've got our method description there and then underneath we've got video tutorial. So now if we highlight that, we can now change this and I'm just going to change it to a H2. You can change how big it is here from H2 to H1 or H3, but I'm going to keep it on H2. Now it does help to include um, your key phrase and your titles and also your content. So rather than just its uses, let's type something different which includes the event command in it. So I've changed this to how can I use the event command with a question mark and I'm also going to change this with a uh, heading. However, I'm going to make it H3 this time. Now if we go down a bit and we skip this paragraph because that's all related to this header, let's change that into a H3 heading as well. And let's just tidy up the wording a bit. Now let's come down to here, how to use it. Let's change that into a heading and probably also um, include one of our keywords again. So here we're going to use both key phrases that we want to go for. So we're going to talk about the event command and also bedrock edition. Great, so we've separated all this up with headings now. Now let's look into adding potentially some images if you do want to. Some images do help, especially if you have um, the name of the title and stuff and the URL and your keywords inputted into the images. Now drawing an explanation on the bottom, I've typed it out, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add an image as well of that. And we're just going to upload this one here so they can not only um, read what they've got to do, but they can also see it quite clearly on the post. So I'm just going to copy my key phrase here, click on the picture. I'm going to add it to the alternative text. And as you can see, our score's going up as we do all of this. We're now currently at 88 out of 100. So now to adding links, because again, that does optimize your blog and it also helps to drive traffic around your site and different pages. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a duplicate uh, tab over here and I'm going to just come over to posts and I'm just going to come over and find um, one of my existing blog uh, or posts that I want to link on. So I'm just going to come over, um, copy the URL. Now when I come back to my page, I'm just going to scroll down. Um, I'm going to highlight the how to get free Minecraft skins. I'm going to add a link there because my post or blog is about how to do that. Um, we're just going to paste the URL right there. I'm going to open in a new tab um, and then going to press enter there. So another way to add an external link, I've got a picture here of Planet Minecraft and the skins because it's related to the blog. Um, however, people might want to just go straight to Planet Minecraft. So I'm also going to add an external link here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy their URL. I'm going to head back to my page, um, click the picture, and we're going to add the link right there. Do a paste, and we're going to open a new tab, and let's press enter right there. Now another thing I'm going to add, if you're a content creator, is just maybe link some of your videos to uh, specific words in here. So I've covered commands quite extensively, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head over to my YouTube channel here um, and find a command related video, and I'm going to start linking in some of the words there in case people want to look in further into that particular subject. So I've got the link for that particular video, let's go hit um, the link button, we're going to paste in here, um, add a new tab and then press enter. And obviously you can now read through the post and see if anything is more suitable to any other post and then just link them that way. Now as I said earlier I also want to embed the actual video for this because I have a video specifically covering this subject. So I'm just going to go under the video tutorial, I'm going to go to plus and then to custom HTML. I'm going to come to that particular video, go to share um, and then grab the embed code. So I'm just going to copy that and then head back over again. Now I'm going to paste that uh, custom HTML right there. Let's do a preview just to check it out. And let's just go preview it quickly, make sure that it's all looking good on the post. Great, so that's all embedded just nicely. So if we come down to the all-in-one SEO and we head over to social, let's just make sure that all the titles and descriptions are looking good as well. I tend to just copy the general meta description over there. So let's go back to social again. Um, for the Facebook title, I'll do a post separator site title. Um, of course, you do have other tags you can use here. Um, I just tend to use these three because I think they look the best. Then we're going to go ahead and uh, paste the meta description there. Then you can head, head on over to Twitter. You can do the same thing over here and then paste the description. So now let's come down and check our focus key phrase again. It looks like we've got uh, most of the stuff covered in here. We've got the key phrase in the subheadings. We've got the right amount of length. Focus key phrase is in images with the attributes. And let's come down to the page analysis. We've got it in the meta description. You've got it in the URL. Um, which is just here on the right. And as you can see, we've added our internal links, external links, we've got a good content length, etc. And um, we've come over and check the title, we've got everything ticked on there. So let's come over to readability. So it does again give us a few handy tips, which is telling us our sentences are too long, they contain more than 20 words, and that's more than the maximum recommended amount. We are also using a passive voice or passive wording a little bit too much. We're at 16.7%, whereas really we want to be aiming for a maximum of 10%. We're also going to need some more transitional words. Only 23.3% of the sentences contains transitional words, which is just not enough or enough for this program to think that it's uh, going to be optimized. And then it looks like we've ticked the rest of them. And that's just going to help with the structure of the post. We are going to have another video on the structure and how to set it up. Um, so you've got subheadings and headings and stuff like that, just for, again, to make it more easily readable and more likely for people to enjoy the content and want to read more. So let's start first by just making sure the length, um, the sentence length isn't quite as long, maybe making them slightly smaller sentences. So we've sorted out the sentences just by sort of breaking it up a little bit, making sure that I didn't have too many commas and long continuous sentences and that it's all broken up into short, concise sentences. So like I've said before in another video, I like to just make sure that I'm aware of what transitional words are and I've just got a few stuck in my head. And you can even use them at the start of sentences, at the end, you know, and it just it just helps with the wording, helps with the building of your post. So I've added a few more transitional words and it really was quite easy, you know, a few along with, in contrast to, on the other hand, um, finally, before, stuff like that. Um, it's just going to make for a more engaging post and also if we come over to here we're going to see that that has now been ticked. Now all that remains is to remove some of the passive voice that we have or the passive words that we have going on through this blog. Now this is the simplest picture that I could find to just sort of explain a passive voice and active voices. I do my homework, passive voice is that my homework is done. So I'm not an English teacher, I'm not going to explain too much into that but you, you can sort of get the gist of how you might need to change the sentences over here and make them a little bit more active rather than passive. 
So I've tried my absolute best to get my passive voice down, however, this does prove quite hard, uh, apparently I must talk quite passive. However, anyway, we've managed to get ours up to 98 out of 100 now, so if you're following the same steps, you're able to go through sentences a little bit better than I have, perhaps you're going to be hitting 100 out of 100, so that is the most uh, search optimized that you're going to get your blog. Now with that, let's just go ahead and publish the blog, and it's looking pretty good. So thanks again for watching, and of course if you are looking to get yourself online, come check out Seekerhost. You can come grab yourself a domain and then get yourself online in a matter of minutes using their new Seekerhost app. Not only that, they have got 24-7 support to help you with any queries that you might have, and you get yourself an awesome site done very quickly and easily in no time at all. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again on the next WordPress tutorial. Bye-bye.